All right, the fire's been going for about an hour now. I don't know if you can see this, but right there, rock is starting to crack off. So there's a couple of chunks that, that broke off. I guess there's a name for this, I'm not really sure. Um, but if you look really close, you can see a crack right through there. Uh, it wasn't there before, obviously. So, it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, 40 pounds of charcoal. There's a fire on each side. It's been going again for about an hour. Um, I've been feeding it pretty continuously. There's 20 pounds of charcoal on this side, 20 pounds on the other side. So I got wood. It's a little damp, but I got it sitting on top of the rock drying. Uh, the top of the rock is, is actually relatively warm. Um, but uh, fire's going pretty good. It's pretty hot. Uh, I could feel it radiating uh, pretty good about 5-10 feet away. So, uh, good fire. The rock kind of goes back in on itself underground, so I've been able... I dug out as much as I could and built the fire uh, on the underside so that most of the heat comes up and goes into the rock. <coughs> and uh, threw some charcoal down there. Uh, well, I got the charcoal going first, then dumped it in there, and I've been throwing oak uh, cordwood on the top just to keep it going. So, uh, seems to be working pretty well. <sighs> A lot of smoke. <laughs> That's just my damp wood. Alright, we're about an hour and 40 minutes in. And I uh, just decided to take just a couple swings at the edge with a sledgehammer. And you can see what's what's happening. It's starting to break up. Now, I swung at this for a half hour and couldn't get these chunks to break off. Uh, this took about five hits. One, two, three, four, bang. And then they just started to fall off. This side, same thing. I swung at this section forever and nothing happened. Uh, just now I took two hits at it and boom, cracked right down the side. Well, this is freaking cool. Check it out. I took three more hits on that side of the rock and the whole rock just cracked right down the center. The whole thing. Right in half. <clears throat> you can see it's, it's through and through right there. Cracked totally in half. <sighs> okay, so what I did here is uh, I took my iron bar and I shoved it in the crack and heave the two pieces apart. You can see it is clearly cracked straight down the middle, all the way through. Unbelievable. So uh, again, I levered the rock apart and I just decided to take whatever wood I had left and sort of pile it in the center um, and uh, get the fire going again. And uh, to do that, I brought out the air compressor and man, does this thing rock. Almost as good as gasoline. <laughs> Almost. All right, it's about three hours in, and uh, as you can see, that big half cracked in half again. <clears throat> so you can see it right there, just cracked right through the center. I'm gonna see if I can get my bar into it while I'm holding the camera. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, she's cracking up. Let's see here. Yeah. Sorry about the camera. But there it is. Cracked in half again. That's pretty wild. All right, so just to give you an idea of how hot <coughs> these rocks are, um, those pieces of rock have been sitting off to the side for, I don't know, two hours since I pulled them out. I mean, the first crack started at about an hour in. Uh, a lot of them have just been sitting there, so let's see what they do. Those are hot. <laughs> Some websites and uh, 
historical accounts of fire setting uh, indicate that after the fire was really hot and after the stones got really hot they would quench it with water which they claimed was to induce thermal shock which would cause the rock to crack faster or larger cracks. Um, I'm not going to do that because you know this I've gotten this much with fire alone. Um, I haven't quenched it at all. So uh, you know I'm just going to let the fire do its thing but you know it is very very hot. Very hot. Watch how fast Watch how fast the water evaporates off that rock. Dry as a bone. Alright, so what we can see here is that uh, when the fire split or the uh, rock split in two, I focused on one half of the rock, uh, which was this half. And you could see that that, <laughs> that half pretty much disintegrated. Um, that's five minutes, ten minutes tops with a sledgehammer just hitting it and what I found is that instead of feeling solid the rock started as I was hitting it it felt brittle and it was it was literally just cracking in, in big chunks uh, whereas before I would hit it and I would get that you know that solid ping sound off the hammer this was just crack and it was just falling apart in pieces but this half I didn't focus on and it was stubborn. So I spent about 15, 20 minutes swinging at this with absolutely no success whatsoever. So I decided, well, let's build another fire. Um, you know, I, I had let the other one go out. I was hoping that this would just crack if I had swung at it hard enough, but it didn't. Um, and this side really didn't have a lot of fire against it. So, you know, it makes sense. So I started another fire, and uh, we're gonna see how long it takes. Um, All right, this uh, second fire has been going about 20 minutes, and that just cracked off. A big, huge chunk. Unbelievable. I didn't even touch it. I just came back to tend the fire, and that's what I saw. Wow amazing how well this is working. All right, we're going to gently hit this with the sledge. Gently. Two or three one-handed taps, and that freed up the crack. Finally cracked in half, all the way through. All right, that's it. Fires out. Um, that last piece split in half, and then kept flaking, and fire was running low, so I just let it go out. And uh, a couple of swings with the sledgehammer, and that's all that's left. Those two big pieces will probably break up further, but I'm just a little tapped out right now. So that's it. Uh, I don't know, two, three ton rock um, taken care of by fire. It's pretty impressive. Didn't have to do a lot to get this done. Uh, now they're all manageable pieces. I could just pick them up, take them out, and get on with my garden. So, thanks for watching.